Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. No, I'm not showing my face on camera. My hair is a mess. It's my day off. Somebody asked me to show them how to make coffee in a regular coffee percolator. Well, for starters, this isn't a regular coffee percolator. It's a Corningware, so it has some special needs. Um, these were known in the 70s for shattering when, um, on the burner. So there's a way around that. But for the corning ware, we're going to start with hot water, okay? If this was an enamel or tin coffee percolator, that's the kind with the glass top, or it doesn't even have to have a top, it has a solid top. It wouldn't matter what temperature the water was. But because this is corning ware, we start with hot because when we turn the burner on, there isn't that much temperature difference to cause it to shatter, all right? So... We have filled the coffee pot up to, there's a line in here, and it tells you how many cups and what the maximum cups are. We filled it up to the maximum cups. Now our basket has holes in the bottom, but they're bigger than you would for a drip coffee maker. And most coffee, ground coffee today, unless you grind your own and you can make it a coarser grind, most ground coffee today is a fairly fine grind and some of it will go down through the bottom of this basket which has holes in the bottom so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a corner of a piece of paper towel just a square of it a small square and we're gonna rip the corner off of the folded part so that the center has a hole and we're just gonna drop that in there like I said if you have a coarser grind of coffee or if you grind your own you won't need to do this and we're going to take our basket of coffee and we're going to put it inside the pot and we're going to take three level tablespoons of coffee now I'm going to put my finger over this hole just to make sure none goes down through and into the water okay we're going to put this basket lid on. What this does is when the coffee perks and comes up through, it goes down through and it trickles down over the coffee. It doesn't splash it all over the place. And third is the lid. This is important. Why? It stops it from splashing all over the place. Also, this tells you how it perks. Now, because we have warm water in the corningware, we can turn this right on high. All right, we'll be back as soon as that starts to perk. And here it comes. And it's starting to change color. But there's steam coming out of the spout. That's how you know you're in danger of it beginning to boil too hard. So we're going to turn it down to medium. And we're going to let it perk on medium for about five minutes. Okay, our coffee has been perking gently now for about five minutes. We're going to turn the burner all the way down to minimum and we're going to let it stop perking. You do not pour this coffee while it's perking or you'll get grounds in your coffee. All right, so we want this action to stop. When this stops, we'll be back and we'll make Papa a cup of coffee. Let's take Papa his coffee. Here's your cup of coffee. Sounds good. Holy crap, that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> that's for you, John.